Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. We've made it to day 12 of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. I can't believe it. I feel like we just started, but that was at Thanksgiving, right? Right before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving, right before. And now we're already inching towards the middle of December, crazy. Hello, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm excited about today's projects as always. It uses one of my favorite sweets or favorite bundles from the holiday catalog that is um, retiring. I think it's retiring. <laughs> I can't ever remember. The bundle for sure is retiring. Um, the stamp set, I know the dies are carrying over. Is the stamp set carrying over? It's. I'm pretty sure it's retiring. I should know these things before I go live, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should know. Anyhow, I used this bundle for my holiday retreat and um, I really tried to hold on to it and not use it at all because it was my favorite and I really wanted to use it for those projects. So I'm going to show you those projects today too, as well as the two that we're going to make. We're going to make a 3D gingerbread biscotti holder that holds a gift card as well. And then another gift card holder because I think a coffee stamp set lends itself perfectly for those all too easy to get Starbucks gift cards. You know, those last minute, um, those last minute gift cards. Thank you, Denise. I suddenly was questioning myself. The stamp set is retiring. The dies are not, right? As I was saying it, it sounded odd. And so then I was like, maybe I'm wrong when I was looking at that tiny little list at 10 p.m. Maybe I looked at it wrong, but Denise has confirmed. The stamps are retiring. The dies are carrying over because the dies make this little coffee cup um, wrap. So the coffee cups and the, the dies are carrying over. All right. Ah, oh, thanks. I just got it done. You know, some color works well. <laughs> Cut a little color brighten things up. All right, so the dies are carrying over, the stamps are not. Isn't that cute? So cute and I didn't attach these this is part of my um, holiday retreat project the bow has gone missing but it's a little carrier the carriers are retiring the cups are not I'm not sure the thinking behind all that I don't know why some is and some isn't but the coffee cup carriers which have been on back order they are retiring second guessing myself they're retiring the cups are staying Carriers retiring, the cups are staying, the dies are staying. It's a puzzle. <laughs> we have to figure it out. But if you go on the last chance list over on the website, you'll know. But I do know that the bundle price is going away. So when you buy them as a bundle, you save 10%. So that for sure is leaving. That's leaving. These are staying. Denise, maybe new stamps. Yeah, that would be awesome, right? Maybe some new stamps to match. Although most of these dies can be used without the stamp, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but you guys, this thing is $15. This was super popular last year when it came out in the holiday catalog. It was a returning favorite. It came back. Um, mine is sitting in my kitchen. This is mine that I made last year. I love it. My kids love it. It is only $15. So, one thing I was suggesting yesterday is that you can actually, you know, like do the drawers, um, like one side of the drawers could be Halloween, one could be Christmas, one could be Easter, one could be summer vacation, whatever. And you can do countdowns to all kinds of things using just one of these. These are also really fun for kids. So $15, ah, Becky, the carriers already sold out, did they? Yeah, they were on back order. So I had a feeling that they were probably gonna sell it pretty quick because I had a feeling they didn't um, have very many. Yeah, Denise, birthday month, wouldn't that be a fun birthday month countdown? So anyway, $15 for the whole kit. Comes with the paper, the stickers, all of that. So if you haven't gotten it, get it. I checked just a little while ago, it's still in stock. I love, love, love it. Okay, let me find you guys. I'm gonna turn you down and around. I want to show you guys. Now, I'm not going to be live again until next Friday. I'm pretty confident we're going to have Facebook Friday next week. That'll be the last one of the year next Friday, which is what? What's the date next Friday? The 18th. And then I'm taking two weeks off, and I'll be back in the new year. So I want to tell you some things. Club Create next month is going to feature 
brand new product. All right, Club Create is my subscription program. It's $39 a month. Uh-oh, we're coming apart here. And, um, well, I'm gonna have to fix that later, but that's, they're all fancy folds next month. That guy, <laughs> he looks like he's been through the ringer. Um, but fancy folds next month, featuring the art gallery bundle that'll be in the new January to June catalog. Um, if you would like to subscribe and get this kit next month, you have to subscribe by January 7th. You have quite a bit of time, but you can do it now so you don't forget. I have it mailed out this month. It's going to be going out early next week. Um, Denise is helping me sort them out. Um, but the subscription period for next month for January has opened now that it's the 9th. So if you are interested in the January Club Create Kit, here it is, $39. You can cancel anytime, but if you stay for six months, you get $25 in product of your choice, kind of like Stampin' Rewards. Okay, so there's that. Um, one last shout out for the calendar class. Um, deadline is Monday, I believe. Let me, let me assume I, I have a post-it note on here somewhere. December 14th. My goal is to get them out the following Monday. They won't be there before Christmas, most likely, unless you live here in San Antonio. They'll probably come maybe on time. Um, but this is the calendar class. It comes with the calendar and all the goodies you need to make all 12 months. Um, you will need the bundle, the stamps and the dies. You can get the class with or without it. Um, I have two stamp sets that I use for the sentiments. You will get a pack of paper, a pack of rhinestones, a pack of twine as part of your kit. Um, there is a PDF only version. And in the PDF, there is a link to where you can purchase the calendar. The calendar is not a PDF. It's purchased from a company. Um, and that is in the PDF. Okay. So last plug for that. It will be, I will start working on it on Monday. So you need to make sure to register by Monday. All right, so let's do prizes. I picked two winners from yesterday. My question on yesterday's prize was, what is your New Year, um, not New Year's, your Christmas Eve tradition? First winner is Connie Cohentop. Connie says that her family eats dinner and plays games. We have really started playing games, my family and I, each year. So that's a fun tradition. So congratulations, Connie. I think I have your mailing address unless it's changed. So message me if it has or message me just in case. That, that way I will know for sure I have it. And the other one is Charity Johnson. And I liked her. She goes to church and then they have tacos. That's a fun Christmas Eve night, taco night, right? So fun. Congratulations, Charity. I don't think I have your mailing address. So if you will message or email me, I will get these out to you guys as soon as possible. All right, congratulations. So today's prizes, two different things. I have the beautiful bows bundle, this stamps and then the dies that cut out the, you know, we used it on the wreath the other day. And then the envelope, ornamental envelope stamp set with the envelope dies. So if you would like to win one of these, just go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and scroll down and you will find a link that says click here to enter for today's giveaway. I just saw a question. When do we get the PDF if we order the kit? Harriet, the PDF link should have been there on the confirmation email um, that's, that I sent to you. Um, so double check that. If for some reason it wasn't, uh, reach out to me and I'll be happy to send you the link for the PDF if you've already ordered the kit, okay? Um, but it's usually, that link should be included with a confirmation email. Okay, so today we're going to do warm hugs. I was calling it heartwarming hugs because um, that's what the suite is called. It looks like one of my dies is missing. Shocker. It's probably over there somewhere. Um... And I actually have lost one of these dies. Can you tell which one it is? I lost it the first time I used it. Um, it's the coffee cup. It's gone. Long gone. It's been gone for a couple of months, unfortunately. Sad. So today when we stamp the coffee cup, we won't be cutting it out. <laughs> um, you could fuzzy cut it if you lose the die, but we're going to stamp it flat. But anyway, we're going to make two projects with this. And then after that, I want to show you the other projects that I have that were part of our retreat and tell you about that PDF if you're interested in that. Now, if you would like 
um, the make and takes. If you want to shop the big year end closeout sale that's happening right now, along with a clearance sale, if you use this host code, you will qualify for three make and takes. This one, this one, and then one that we're going to do today. It'll be this one probably. All right, and I will send those to you for free next week as long as your order is over $35 and use the host code unless, what's the caveat? If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you earn Stampin' Rewards for free and um, I will still send you these, okay? Okay, well, let's get started. Um, what did I, Monday by midnight, did I forget anything else? Oh, was, I usually show you what they look like. Do I have a sample here? They come, they look kind of like this, all right? I really do send them out. I'm not making it up. <laughs> I always think people are probably like, yeah, right, she's not going to send me anything. But I do. I send them like clockwork. In fact, I have last week's right here waiting to go out today, all right? So I'm, I promise you, $35 or more, and I will send you the make and takes. You will need stamps, ink, adhesive, and the dies that match those stamps. All right, or substitute whatever you have if you don't have it. But I will send you the paper, the embellishments, scored, punched, cut, whatever, and uh, you'll have three projects. All right, you guys, let's get started. So let me show you. I'm actually using two other bundles today um, along with this. I found the gingerbread biscotti at Starbucks the other day, and um, I was... The, a few weeks ago, I was trying to find gingerbread things so that we could make these gingerbread houses. Remember when we did that a few weeks ago? And then I just happened to be in Starbucks last week and I found these. And so I thought, okay, we're going to use our gingerbread house with our warm hugs bundle. So that's what we're going to do. This goes in here. And if you get a gift card, it actually will slip right in there behind there. There's nothing that's holding it in there, but it, it slides perfectly. So you could put a little glue dot right there to hold it down, and then they'll have a biscotti to go with their Starbucks. Who knew it was perfect size? I didn't plan it like that. I planned the size for the biscotti, and then I thought maybe I would figure out how to attach the gift card up here, but then I thought, let's just do it like that. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So now the gingerbread house. The Coming Home Bundle is retiring. This is my biggest shocker from the, the retiring products. Coming Home Bundle, the dies are, and the stamp set are so fantastic. I think that they could go all year. They're not necessarily a Christmas stamp set. So we made a couple of gingerbread projects. When was that? Last week. And um, I had a couple extras on my desk. So here it is. So in case you haven't watched that video, you stamp it in craft white ink on soft suede and you emboss it with white embossing powder with your heat tool and you cut it out with a matching die. So I did that ahead of time to save us a little bit of time today. All right, let me get everything here. Hey, you guys, speaking of junk from Starbucks, while I was there, this happened to, I happened to accidentally purchase this. <laughs> and by accident, I mean like, I bought it and I was going to use it for a project, but look what happened. Yeah, I opened it and it's so good. Salted peppermint bark. So another decadent treat that I should not know about. Starbucks knows how to do it with the decadent treat, let me tell you. I'm not a coffee drinker. As you guys know, I've told you that before. I'm not a coffee drinker, but man, do I love my sweets. I do. Yum. All right, let me move everything out of the way so I have some room to make this. All right, the measurements are over on my blog, so don't feel like you have to frantically write things down. You're going to need two pieces of soft suede. This, this piece is going to be long, and it's actually too long for one full sheet of cardstock, so I had to cut two pieces to piece them together. Yes, Yvonne, accidentally. I was looking at it as the woman was ringing me up, and she said, do you want that? I said, no. But then I saw the gingerbread. I said, oh, wait, I want these. And then I said, oh, okay, I might as well get that too. <laughs> I was thinking it would be a stocking stuffer, but oops, I opened it. Okay. Yeah, get your hands on it, Jessica. It's good. It's so good. All right, the first piece of soft suede that you need is four and a fourth by seven and a half. And we're going to score the short side at one inch and at three and a fourth, and then again at one inch. 
And then the second piece you need is four and a fourth by five and a half. And we're gonna again score it at one and three and a fourth and one inch. Okay, so we're actually piecing these together to make one long piece. And on the short one, I'm gonna cut off the squares. Okay, so just cut them off like that. I'm also gonna cut the corners just slightly, a little trim like that. Okay, now over here, I'm going to, let me make sure I'm doing it right. Yep, I'm gonna cut like that and like that. Okay, so that's gonna fold up. Now, let me burnish all of these. I should have my bone folder somewhere over here. Oh yes, Teresa, you need to go to Starbucks. Um, today, where did I get the extra store, scoreboard pegs? Um, I got those from somebody on Facebook. I think you can get them on Etsy. People make them with their 3D printer. I know, crazy, right? I wish I don't remember her name. Um, you could probably ask on some Stampin' Up! Facebook groups too. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna adhere it like this, all right? So then, basically, we have this one long piece like this, and it's all gonna fold up like that, okay? But before I do that, I think I'm gonna decorate the front. I'm gonna take my two inch circle punch and just punch about half of a circle. And then I've got a piece of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna do that right here. And then I'm gonna take my circle punch and go back and match it. Okay, yeah, they used to be available for purchase. Those those little um, those little scoring. Am I out? Yep. Those little score. Um, what, is, what were they called? Score simply scored markers. Um, but they quit selling them, and you can't find them. I've been looking for them. Um, but so people started making them on their three D printer, and. Uh, I was so happy when I found them because I use mine a lot. Hold on, I gotta change this out. All right, so let's try this again. Get it started, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna put some adhesive if this is gonna behave. This has been giving me a lot of trouble lately and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. It's because I'm not flicking my wrist back. I'm supposed to go back. <sighs> It's been kind of a rough day today, you guys. It's my daughter's 18th birthday, so I'm feeling a little a little sad, honestly. <sighs> a little sad. It goes by so fast. You know when they're little, you're like, oh my God. And then suddenly they're 18 and they're an adult and they don't they don't need you very much. And she's going off to college next year, and it's just kind of hitting me today. So it's been kind of one of those days. All right, so see how I did that over? I, I used the front tabs and I folded them over. Now I'm gonna cut this at an angle from the front to the back. Okay, front or back to the front, like that. So it's at an angle, all right? Okay, now let's make our tag. It's really easy. This is a really easy box. Okay, and that's gonna go right in there. Now let's do a little bit of stamping. I have cut out this tree from the Pinewood dies. We've cut out our house. I've got a crumb cake stitched circle that is the second largest. Yeah, it is hard, it is. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna stamp this one um, in Cherry Cobbler. You have three choices of the same stamp for you. This one's on me, Merry Christmas, and warm hugs to you all season long. Um, honestly, I just grabbed the first one and did it. So all three of them would work here. Now, I've got the cup stamp, and I'm gonna stamp it in, uh oh stamp it in soft suede, the outline. Then I've got the inside part, soft suede, I'm gonna stamp off and then stamp it on the inside, okay? 
All right, now this die set has several ways you can cut this out. I'm gonna use, actually no, I'm not gonna use that. You can do this, we're gonna use this one next time. But because I don't have that coffee cup die, because <laughs> I lost it, I'm gonna use my one and a half inch circle right here like that. All right, and then we're just gonna layer this up with dimensionals. All right, we'll start right here with that crumb cake circle, like that. And, oh, I know, grandkids, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't even go there. I'm have, we're also having middle school child drama, which I will not go into, but that's just not fun either. It's been a day. It has been a day. One of those, is it five o'clock yet? Five o'clock somewhere days. We'll survive, right? We will. That's what they tell me. <laughs> we'll survive. Okay, now I'm just layering these guys up with dimensionals. Overlapping, overlapping, overlapping like that. And actually I probably, looks like I should have put that circle over a little bit further. Let's see if I can do that. Over kind of to the side like that so we can see more of it. There we go. Now I need to go back with a dimensional under here and <clears throat> put that down. Whoops, too high. Put that down so it'll stay flat like that. Now it's crooked. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And we'll get that there. And then, you know, it needs a bow, right? So I love this embroidered ribbon. It's light and soft and it's got a, a nice rustic feel. So cute. All right, and then tie that and a mini glue dot. Yeah, Carla, you have two girls, right? Middles, girl drama is bad. Middle school, eighth grade seems to be the year for my girls. <laughs> the year where we just become somebody else. <laughs> Eighth grade seems to be the, the magic number. And throw in a pandemic, right? And online school and social media intensity, and you've got the perfect storm. Let me just tell you. All right, there we go. And I am I'm gonna have to adjust what is happening here with the dimensionals. This is a really easy project. This would make a great project for those middle or gift for those middle school teachers who are dealing with our children. I think I will send them tomorrow. <laughs> All right, there you go. You can find those biscotti, gingerbread biscottis at Starbucks. And remember, if you want to put a gift card in there, just put a glue dot on the bottom, on the back and put it right there in the back. So when they take that off, they can see that gift card in there. Okay. And look, I didn't even plan it, but that one, that gift card totally matches. It does. Okay, project number one is done. Let me move all of this out of the way and we will make our card. And our card happens to be a gift card holder as well. I just feel like every time I use a coffee themed stamp set that I should make a gift card holder. We get a lot of Starbucks gift cards around here. You know, if you don't like coffee, like I said, there's a lot of sweets there that you can get. My kids love Starbucks. They love it. Okay, now I went kind of rogue with my colors. I pulled in Rococo Rose and um, Crumb Cake. And this one opens up like this. And there's a Starbucks gift card right in there. This is a really, really simple um, gift card holder that you can make. All right. I'm also using the In the Pines bundle, which is retiring and I, this is another one I am surprised about. I love these dies in the stamp set. So if you haven't gotten it, you better go check it out. Hey, Catherine says their hot chocolate's really tasty. You know what? You're right. You are right. I have had their hot chocolate and it is good. Speaking of hot chocolate, when we were in West Texas this weekend, there was a place in Alpine, which we didn't end up going to, but when I was looking online for places to, to get food, there was an ice cream place that was serving hot chocolate, and it said their holiday drink menu, and they had six or seven different hot chocolates, and one of them was a cookie butter hot chocolate. Have you guys had cookie butter before? 
It's so good. And I, a hot chocolate with that's cookie butter flavored oh, sounded amazing. But alas, we did not go because we were in the snow and we were all over the place. So we didn't go. We didn't make it. But yeah, cookie butter, hot chocolate sounds really good. Rococo Rose, Whisper White. All right, we're going to put this on the inside of our card like this. And the I have scored this. This is a four and a fourth by 11 piece of cardstock. I've scored it at five and a half. Well, two and three fourths and five and a half. And this part right here, we're going to fold in. Nope. Yes, in like this, okay? So fold it in. And we're gonna grab that two inch circle punch and we're gonna put a circle here as well. Okay, and do I have tear and tape? I'm gonna use tear and tape here because I need it to be really thin, the adhesive, so that my gift card will still fit in there. All right, let's get that backing off. And you know what I may have done on my original one? I may have cut like a half inch. No, I didn't. You can cut a half inch off right here. It makes it a little bit easier to get the gift card out. Okay, but there you go. Slide your gift card in and out. All right, where's my bone folder? It was right here. Am I looking at it? Hmm, it disappeared. Maybe it's on my other tray. Not. Is it under here? Yep, here it is. Okay, let me burnish that real good. All right, so this is Rococo Rose, which is one of our in colors from 2019 to 2021. So it will be retiring in the spring. This is from the designer series paper stack that is all of those in colors. Now I have already cut a, I need to get some new dimensionals here. Let me open the package. I have already cut a Whisper White stitch uh, square, which is the largest one. And I have also cut a scalloped square, Whisper White, also the largest. And we're gonna layer them on like this. Okay. Like that. White on white, I love that. White on white dies very pretty and then we're gonna just layer this like this this is a fancy fold a simple fancy fold okay like that so then that's how it opens and there's your gift card okay all right we're gonna do some trees like I said from the in the pines and I think maybe I need, yep, I didn't get all of my stamps out. So let me get out this one right here. Let me get a block for it. Um, shaded spruce is the color we're going to go with. I kind of played around with the colors here. And I may try something different on the one that we're making. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Well, let's try that again about this table it doesn't ever do that over there okay now I'm gonna stamp off now this is my messed up one so I'm just gonna stamp off over that one and then stamp here so that it's lighter okay there we go now I'm gonna cut out what else we need to cut out some other things so let's do the other stamping before we we do all of that before we bring over our little we're gonna use the baby today all right, that is Rococo Rose. We're gonna stamp the little tree in shaded spruce. The inside of the tree, we're gonna stamp off and we'll stamp right there inside. Okay, I think that's all. Now I've already cut out some trees for us. So let me cut off this. Let me cut off that. So that we have less going on here. Move everything out of the way. Bring over the baby. 
you haven't seen it, here's our new mini cut and emboss machine. It's so cute, super light and easy, easy, easy to use. He will be available to order for everybody in January. You can order him right now only if you're a demonstrator. So you can buy the starter kit and you can order the mini cut and emboss machine in your starter kit or after you know, after you buy the starter kit, you can order it with your discount. All right, so we've got that. Now, did I throw away all that paper? We did need some of that paper. I may need to grab another piece. Let's see, we're gonna cut out this tree right here. Can I get it to fit on there? I think so. And we're gonna overlap that. I saw a tree like this on a card done by one of our artisan design team. And I loved it, so I thought I would show you guys. The mini is so handy. You had to make 45 little K-cup carrier holders for a principal to give her teachers. Did you use the little mini? It is so handy. You think, like, okay, do I really need a mini if I have the big? You do. It's just cute and easy and light, and it just feels like it makes things quick and easy. I don't know why. It just does. All right, this time we're gonna cut out the tag, a little circle, with that die. I really want the magnetic platform, but it's not available yet. And that one, and we'll put that on there. And we'll run it through. And Put the dies back, Erica, so you don't lose them. And there we go. All right, now let's layer these things up. I have cut out, over here I used mint macaron and shaded spruce, but I was kind of thinking just jade. I think maybe, oh, maybe all of them. I don't know. I think maybe I'll use just jade this time instead of shaded spruce. I don't know. Let's see. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take this tree and we're gonna glue it. Whoa, that came out fast. We're gonna glue it onto this tree over here. Oh, Marianne, thank you. I'm glad you've enjoyed them. You know, I'm kinda of gonna miss them too. Um, but I'll be back next Friday. Uh, you know what, I did think maybe I would continue them for the rest of the week, but I am in the middle of getting out a huge um, team training event. It's a lot of cutting. And then I've got Club Create to get out. And then I've got the calendar class to get out. So unfortunately, I just don't even have the time to plan any more projects. I wish that I did because um, I've enjoyed it as well. All right. So see that how, how that looks? It looks like there's snow on that tree. You can see the stamp tree behind there. Okay. So now I'm going to cut these off, the stems the stems, the trunks, and we're gonna need many dimensionals. And let's bring over this. And we're gonna put the big guy first, and I need regular dimensionals for him. The magnetic plate will be awesome. I agree, Garla, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, really, your plates are warping? I haven't noticed that yet, interesting. Plate, the warping of the plates. It's a it's a thing. It's a constant problem for me because I use them so much. All right, let's do we'll do the mint macaron tree in the back. I really like these greens with this Rococo rose. It's really pretty. All right, we're gonna put this tree kind of back to the left. Then we'll put the jade tree right here. Maybe we'll put the, I forgot, what does my card look like? Maybe we'll put this one like that. So this one's gonna have just jade, which is the front one, shaded spruce, and mint macaron. All right, why is that not sticking down? put that on there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot something. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. That can stay there and dry. We need to stamp this awesome little frame stamp 
in Rococo Rose on Rococo Rose cardstock. It's just a real delicate, pretty frame. And there is a die for this one as well. Looks like that. Let me bring this guy back over. Get that settled and we will run it through. Okay, come on, line up. It's sticking to the Tombow on my fingers. <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh, goodness. Why can't I get it? There we go. Again, magnetic platform. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Hi, Dina. Good to see you. Okay, now we're ready to assemble. So a few mini dimensionals here and here on the ring. And warm hugs to you goes right there. The little tree goes in the middle like that. And then I will grab a big dimensional and we'll bring this guy back over and just stick it right in the corner like that. All right, did I put a bow? I did. So I got our, this ribbon, this Rococo Rose scalloped edge. I cannot get that off. Oh well, the scalloped ribbon and I cut it in half long ways so it wouldn't be too bulky, okay? So let me cut that edge off. So then I will just make a bow Like this, pull that through. Make that like that, and we will cut those edges and get a mini glue dot. Now there's one last thing I did. I took a strip of the DSP, a little, just a little half inch strip and I'm gonna put this on the inside just to add a little bit of, I don't know, interest like this. Oh, I did upside down, like that. Okay, to carry over into there. And there you have it. Really fun and cute and easy. A lot of die cuts, but they're pretty easy. And just a couple of extra, one extra score line on a card base is all you need to have a gift card holder. I hope you guys like today's projects. These are the end. We are done. Oh my gosh. Now, don't go away. I have a few more things to show you. All right. So here's what we made today with the heartwarming hugs, warm hugs. Now, on my blog, there's a link to the PDF for my um, retreat projects. It's six projects. Um, they use the heartwarming hugs paper that's carrying over, the ribbon that's carrying over, and the other ribbon that's carrying over. This one is a little hot chocolate test tube box. Um, the directions and the links to the test tubes are actually in the PDF as well. Um, and then there's four cards. There's that one and that one. Some of the bows are missing. I don't know where they went. That one, so cute. And then that one. I love that paper. That's probably my favorite paper of the whole season. I've used it a lot. All right, so if you want that PDF, it's $15. You'll find it over there, the link on my blog, and it's an immediate download. They email you as soon as you do that. As soon as you pay for it, they email it to you. If it doesn't show up, check your spam. If it's not there, email me and let me know. I don't know what happens. Sometimes they bounce around in cyberspace and disappear. Now, remember, if you would like these make and takes. These three will be the three that I will be sending out next week to anybody who places an order by Monday at midnight between um, now and Monday and use this host code and over $35. All right. And thank you to everybody who's already shopped the end of the year sale. Don't forget that that end of the year sale is while supplies last. So is a clearance rack. And like we've already discovered, some things are already sold out, um, but there's still lots of really good things left like that, <laughs> that countdown calendar. I love that so much. And the round tens. I don't know if those are still available, but I love those round tens. If you haven't gotten one of those, you should, you should order a few of those too. They make great little gift tins. 
You guys, thank you so much for joining me for these 12 days. I really have enjoyed it. Make sure you go over and enter for today's prize. I will announce the winners tomorrow. I want to be able to get it in the mail before it's, you know, Christmas. Um, so I will pick winners tomorrow and get them in the mail, hopefully, shortly after that, okay? You guys have been so much fun, and I will be back next Friday as we get back to Facebook Friday, our last Facebook Friday of 2020. Have a wonderful week, you guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.